So it's time to analyze step number five, which is desorption. It's pretty important because we are still speaking about our molecule, well, our product still being attached to the surface of the catalyst. And right now we're going to liberate that with desorption. So you could remember, let's say C was our product and it's containing the active site. We're going to have an equilibrium between these two guys. We're going to have our product plus the active site. The desorption must be done in gas phase, or it's typically done in gas phase. So you're going to expect C being produced in gas phase, okay? And we can model it with this equation right here. And you're going to see that it's pretty similar to that one on absorption. But right now we are going to be talking about not in concentration of the reactant, but that one of the product. That one of the product. And this here is all the sites free. Whereas in the other one, we had total minus contain, okay? Which is essentially the same as free. Okay, remember that KDC is the equilibrium constant right here. So you could take it out. So there. And one very important concept we're going to be analyzing is this concept right here. The rate of, rea uh, the rate of adsorption of D in C will be the same of the rate of adsorption of C in D, okay? So keep that in mind. And not only that, it's pretty common that in equilibrium, when we have a constant, for example, D in C, and we have a constant C in D, by definition, one is the inverse of the other. And that's pretty common because the KO equilibrium by definition is products divided by reactants, okay? In this case, I'm going to have this one here, and K2 will be reactants and products. Because actually, if I revert the equation, my products became my reactants and my reactants became my products. So as you can see, you can relate both equations only by dividing it. Anyways, you must finish with this rate of reaction eventually. Look, this here. We are changing this one to C, okay, the inverse, okay, this one is the inverse. So instead of taking it out, we are going just to send it to the top and the negative is going to be, stays negative and the concentration stays at the concentration and you're done guys. Essentially, you just want that. Use this concept to take out this and this will be your desorption. And as you can see, it depends highly on the product plus active site and the concentration of the product. So you don't want to have a lot of product, you want to have a lot of species, which makes a lot of sense, okay? The more you have, let's say, the equilibrium between this active site and these guys right here. You want this CV, actually this is, you can measure it with CV, which is the free or vacuum free concentration active sites, this is your product. If you want to increase products, you need to increase this here and take out products every time, every time until you increase a lot of this. And we're done, let's see the step six and seven, which are very, very easy. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other.
Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.